I'm going to do a quick review on um, this dragon tongue bean. I bought the seeds from Baker Creek online. This is our first year growing them. And um, we are using them primarily as like fresh eating green beans. Um, you can see I picked three different sizes here. And you can see the pretty purple stripes um, that are on them. You can eat them at all stages. The bigger they get like this, the beans are starting to get really big inside and it's a little tougher to chew but it still tastes fine I'm assuming um, they're a little better cooked though like this I haven't cooked them we, my kids have literally been eating these so like every day and we've been putting them in salads snacking on them while we're out in the garden but these two sizes I prefer um, to eat them like that and then you can see as they get bigger they lose a little bit of the purple and it's more kind of a white color but they're still really really pretty um, you can see these are the plants right here um, they're not all dragon tongue I have them mixed with the borlata beans which are very similar but they look like this they have pink um, stripes instead of purple and they're more green instead of white um, but they are bush beans they grow just like any other bush beans um, I've grown before. The plants are probably a foot tall. Um, let's see if I can find some flowers. There's a few. They have pretty purple flowers on them. And so far, they've been really, really heavy producers. I have been just picking and picking and picking and picking every day. And um, there's no sign of stopping. You can see there's still lots of little beans on the plants. Um, and then I, I planted all of the section first. And then I planted a few more plants over here just... In case to see you know how it worked and if these died off and if I wanted to have a few more over there so um, but they don't show any signs of slowing down so I think we'll be fine and I'm watering them about every two days two to three days depending on how hot it is I have a soaker hose in here um, and I turn it on for probably 25 30 minutes every few days and that seems to be enough water for them um, but yeah they're really good I'll take a bite of one of these and you can see what it looks like on the inside. It's really sweet. I mean, not sweet like a candy, like sweet, like a sweet pea. Other green beans I've had before are kind of more like a green taste. These have more of a sweet taste and they're really juicy. And they're just really nice to eat. Like my kids literally snack on these all day when they're out here and their friends do too so they're cool and I, I think um, they're actually eating these a lot more than they have in years past of just like regular green beans and I think it's because of how they look Every everyone that comes over here they want to show like hey look at these cool beans we're growing and they actually pick these out so if you want your kids to eat more vegetables if you try growing fun weird looking things at least for my kids they seem to like it better and want to share with their friends and eat it and yeah it just makes it fun so if you haven't grown these i'd definitely try them out dragon tongue beans from baker creek seeds